Hi there folks, Paul Bars signing in for another very quick video update. Working on networked blogs. Yes, I gotta say something I wish I was doing years ago, that is recording these videos each time I was asked to explain to someone how do I do something. Well, here we go. This is how we syndicate content from our blog through to Facebook, Twitter, and so on. I use network blogs for this particular feature, so you need to come to, here it is up here, networkedblogs.com and obviously click on there to get started. In my particular case, I'm just gonna simply log in because I already have an account here, which I do through Facebook. Now that is the easiest way because we're syndicating with Facebook, so we want stuff working with Facebook as well. Let me just move over here so we can take a look at what comes up. Okay, first things first, I've already got blogs that I follow, but there's a couple of different things. There's a directory of blogs, people using networked blogs, and at some point you'll be asked to follow a couple of them, I think it's four or five or something like that. If you're getting started, first thing you're gonna to need to do is register a blog. And I'm assuming that you are getting started, which is why I'm recording this video for you to have a look at. It's going to ask very simply for the details of your blog. For example, paulbars.com. I wonder if it's gonna let me do this again because I'm already there. Yeah, I'm already, already there, already been registered. So you wanna have one in there that currently hasn't been registered, okay? If I click here to view that, it's gonna show that she's already up and running. So you put in yours just there, unless of course it gives you this. Now, if it is there, then what we need to do is syndicate it. And this is where the fun starts. Uh, also, I should just add in, I can't show this to you, but if this was not registered, it would ask me to register it by giving me some code that I would need to copy and paste uh, onto the front page of my website, or it would give me you know, I have to get a couple of Facebook friends to verify that yes, uh, you know, I'm the right owner or something like that. You follow those directions if it's code, give them to your webmaster to put in and then you come back here, click verify and she's up and running. But once it's verified, then we can come to the dashboard or the syndication area. Now if I just have a quick look at the dashboard here, let's see what's inside there. It shows my dashboard here, I've got my you know, a couple of different sites there which have been registered and I can edit them, edit the authors, these types of things. For example, I might just come down here and there we go, edit authors. Maybe I can give someone else permission to publish. I'm not quite sure what this one's for. Let's have a quick look now. now these are registered, ready to go. So yeah, I could add someone else who could also be publishing this for me to you know syndicating it themselves and so on and so on or a particular page it gives us a couple of different options of just setting things up you don't need to worry too much about all of this because this all gets done automatically for you once you are registered and syndicating okay i am syndicating i can test feed uh, make sure that it's actually working I can you know, add a particular Facebook page if I wanna add it to a new one and so on. This is where I manage it once everything's been set up. So let's now go through to syndication. Once you have a blog which is registered, you can then come into here, and obviously if you wanna do someone else's, then you need to get their permissions to set this up. But let's say I might like to set this one up just here, the Web Business Academy, and have it publishing to my business page. Just going to bring up the details. Okay, I'll add a Facebook target for this one, which is where it's going to go to, just here. That'll say done, and then I can close that page. This is how it works, very simply. I can also add a Twitter target there as I want, my own Twitter account show me what things are going to look like and and that's it I mean it's literally that easy it doesn't get much easier than that okay can you see how that works very very simple and of course if I was just getting started and it was brand new I'd probably have another option down here I think which is uh, click next or save or something like that and you know then I could make a test post but that's pretty much all that's required to make this work you register a blog or a blog that's already registered and then you get yourself or whomever to set yourself up as someone who can publish to it. 
you then set up your syndication choose your page that it's going to go to or a group if you're an administrator for a group do the same for Twitter and so on and that's it really quick really simple and then what it will do is if I just come back here and I'll go to my uh, business page I just published a test post there a moment ago there it is how easy is that all working ready to go and now of course if I left this here every time Jenny over here at the Web Business Academy publish something it's going to get bumped off to my page there as well fantastic great content as well love it have a good day bye bye